What is Robert Downey Jr.'s number one success habit? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share that with you as well as showing you how you can apply that success habit to your life today. Robert Downey Jr. is a very successful Hollywood actor. In fact, right now, he's one of the most influential and inspiring actors and producers, as well as being a part of one of the most successful film franchises in history, The Avengers. But rather than this being a video just about his biography and how he went from rags to riches, how he went from being a drug addict to becoming this person, of course, we will talk a little bit about that, but I really want to share with you what I believe is something that he did that you can do so you can become more successful in your life. We know that a great life it doesn't happen by chance, it happens by design. And I think we can learn so much from people who have had the sort of success that we are looking for. So whether you want to be a Hollywood actor or whether you want to improve your life in any area, from your health, your energy, your relationships, your wealth, your work, your service, you can apply this success habit to your life. So what is this success habit? Look, before I tell you this, how? did Robert Downey Jr. go from being a drug addict, literally being in and out of rehab from someone who had a very roller coaster career, who ended up in prison, how did they turn their life around? I don't know how many of the films that he has been you have seen, whether you've seen Zodiac or Sherlock Holmes or any of the Avenger films or any of the great films that he's done, Chaplin, he's an amazing actor. But how did he turn his life around? Well, he was on Oprah Winfrey and Oprah Winfrey asked him this question. Do you still get urges to do drugs? I have not even an inkling of a desire, but I guard against that. So what is this number one success habit? Well, it's the habit of making a decision. And that's what he did. And I think he had many failed attempts in the past to turn his life around because he didn't make a decision. He made a choice. And when we make a choice, it's very easy to make another choice. It was Jim Rohn that said, well, we're the only animals on this planet that has the dignity of choice. We have so many choices that we can make. We can choose to start something, but we could choose not to finish it, which how many of us have done that in our life? How many of us have had a problem or a situation, something we want to, to stop doing? And maybe we stop doing it for a bit, but our enthusiasm disappeared or something we started to do with great intentions. But once again, history repeated itself and we went back to our default setting. So when you look at Robert Downey Jr's story, you see that he tried many times to stop taking drugs, to stop drinking. Why did he start in the first place? Well, I think many of us are products of our environments. We're very influenced by our environments. And that was the environment that he grew up with. His, his peers, the people who he aspired to be, that's what they did. Taking drugs was the norm. Drinking excessive amounts of alcohol was the norm. That's what his father did. And he became a product of his own environment. But it had to get to the point where it was too much, it was too difficult. And that's the point for many people, they call the breaking point. And I absolutely love what Robert Downey Jr. says about hopelessness. What he says is it's easy, it's easy to embrace hopelessness when there seems no hope, where there seems, where you're so stuck in a situation or scenario that you don't see a way out but he has always had this attitude of never giving up. And I must admit, I'm so inspired by that because I've never given up. I've never given up on myself and when I could quite easily have done that. I've never given up on finding solutions for the problems that people have. That's what I do, that's what I've been doing for over 30 years with the books I've written, with the people I've worked with, and many of the A-list celebrities and Olympic and world champions I've worked with, but it's with my wife. My wife who 12 years ago was given 18 months to live because I was brought up as a product of my environment. My environment was my mum always saying, 
there's an answer to everything. And my dad always saying, son, it's not what you know, it's who you know. That when I found myself in this situation, I looked outside of the box. I reinvented myself and we found uh, a solution to my wife's challenge. And in November 2021, she had a reoccurrence. And then in April 2022, she was given not very long to live again. And once again, I've got this attitude of never giving up. That's what Robert Downey Jr. has. Do you? Do you have that deep down inside you to never give up, regardless of what you've done before? You see, what Robert Downey Jr. has done is he ha has reinvented himself. He is not who he was because he made a decision. That is the number one success habit. And the word decision comes from a French word to désir, to cut off. And when you truly cut yourself off from anything else, you've made a decision. Now, can you do that? It's easy to do. It's like, imagine if you decided to get married or you are married and you turn to your partner and you said, I am 98.2% committed to being with you. <laughs> That's not a decision. That is when you leave a little bit of possibility for doubt and excuses. And if you're not careful, that can get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's what we've all done because we haven't decided to go all in. We haven't decided to totally reinvent ourselves. You know this to be true. Otherwise, you wouldn't have watched the video until this point. You know that I'm talking to a part of you that is deeper than any of the problems and the challenges that you have. Because we all have addictions, we all have tendencies, we all get distracted. And what he decided to do was to get traction on his reinvention. He decided to not only reinvent himself, but he also decided to invest his energy into something else. He replaced his addictions to another addiction. But it was the addiction of Kung Fu, the discipline of Kung Fu. And it's so important that if you're going to stop something, that you start something else. We know that a great life, it doesn't happen just by chance. It happens by design. And I ask you, yeah, be inspired by Robert Downey Jr.'s reinvention, but also be inspired by the fact that our lives are a film. Right now you're watching this film and you have the film of your life. You're the writer, the director, the producer. You are the actor in your life. And what we find is we just keep acting out what we've done before. And then we wonder why things never progress in the way that they could. What is one decision on the back of watching this video that if you made that decision, that your life would change for the better? What's one thing that if you stop doing it, would have the single biggest impact in your life. The one decision that if you did it. Now, of course, making that decision is easy. Doing it, well, that's where the challenge starts. And one of the things I really want you to take away from this video is anything in life that is difficult to do is actually quite easy. It starts off by making a decision, and then it's just a question of doing some very easy things over an extended period of time. Are you ready to make that decision? Whatever that decision is, I dare you, make a comment below and tell us what that is, tell us what that is and let me hold you accountable for what you're doing and who you are becoming. Check out that video with Matthew McGonaghy talking about his number one uh, success secret. I won't tell you what it is, but watch it. But part of that is, the wolves that we feed, <laughs> the two wolves in our head, the one of us that wants us to stay where we are and the one that wants us to grow, wants us to evolve. That's probably the number one decision that you could make. Invest in the story of who you're going to become. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Robert Downey Jr. for what I believe is a great example of someone who has become a completely different person. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.